Today we are looking at the painting Why War by Charles Spensley. Charles Spensley was a British painter born in Rochester, Kent. He exhibited fairly regularly at the Royal Academy. Critics generally regarded his work as outmoded. However, the public voted his painting Why War as Picture of the Year at the RA exhibition in 1939. Why War is now at the Harris Museum and Art Gallery in Preston. Having fought in the war to end all wars, this First World War veteran sadly contemplates the onset of the Second World War. Near him lies a new gas mask from Lewisham Council and a newspaper covering Chamberlain's abortive mission to make peace with Hitler. So what is it you like about this painting? Well, I think when you first look at it, you might think it's very dark. Uh, but when you actually go up to it, it's the detail. I mean, things like the chest of drawers with the tea towels hanging out and the, the real flowers in a jam jar. And obviously all the clues are there. So you've got the gas mask yes. and the paper about Chamberlain's visit to Hitler and the medals on his chest, so you know we're on the brink of war, you know he's a World War I veteran. All the things are there that give you a clue as to why it's called Why War. I mean, for me, even though I think the um, sort of minute details are brilliant and obviously they tell us, fill up this story of um, England's life, but for me what, what really does it for me in this painting is his expression in his face. This sort of like thousand yard stare, his hands almost in prayer as he contemplates, you know, this is happening at the end of the First World War, in, um, you know, and the, the precipice of the Second World War, and he's thinking, you know, what are, gonna, what are the lives of my sons and my grandsons going to be? And um, yeah, and obviously you can see the veteran from the medals on his chest, and it seems like how shiny his shoes are. Someone who's experienced war and is now potentially happy to experience it again. And it's dread, isn't it? It's dread and desolation yeah. in yeah. that face. Yeah. Like, you know, the war to end all wars, and here we are again. Yes, yeah. And for me, and I think a lot of people mm. my age, this picture is about nostalgia because this is the interior mm. of my aunts and uncles, my grandparents, mm. the early years of my parents. But I wonder what it has for young people. Well, I think it actually um, does speak to today's audience in the fact that obviously after the First World War and between the First World War and the Second World War, Europe was in a very precarious state financially and in terms of peace. Um, and once again, we are facing that precarity. We've just come out of a global pandemic. You know, there's unrest in Europe mm -hmm. with Russia and the Ukraine. Um, there's worse economic precarity than there ever has been. Well, in your lifetime. In my yeah. lifetime. Yeah. Yes. And, um, yeah, it's like, um, why? What is the justification for pushing people through this again? Absolutely. And I just love it. Mm -hmm. The more and more I look at it, the more I find to love. It's a brilliant painting, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant.